Hello and welcome to another episode, Tamriel A2Z. This time, talking top five ways to make gold in Elder Scrolls Online. I know a lot of you players are returning next week with the buy to play launch or looking for consoles. And I want to explain the ways I found to make money, the fastest, easiest ways, and give you five things to do, whether you're a returning player or a new player. We're going to talk about making gold in Elder Scrolls Online and how I do it. Let's get started. For number five, we got farming. Yes, farming. Going around from node to node to node, picking them up with a chance of getting that valuable Nurncrux in Upper Craghorn only. So what I usually do is take a Sorcerer. The Sorcerer, I put Retreating Maneuvers and Streak on my bar so I can zoom around really, really fast. And I go from node to node to node. You'll notice that these nodes are, are lit up for me. That's a passive in the crafting tree, Keen Eye. I usually take at least one point in each, so clothing, blacksmithing, alchemy, and enchanting, and I just zoom around going from node to node to node. After a while, you spend about an hour doing this, you might get one Nurncrux. Nurncrux goes for about 11,000 gold, um, plus all the mats that you're going to get, you can resell them, you can refine them, or you can make potions. So you're going to have a lot of good materials to use, and I highly recommend doing this for one hour. Just putting on some Netflix, dinking around, going from node to node to node, you're going to get a lot of profit after a while. Make sure to take the keen eye. You don't always need it, but it really comes in handy to make sure you're not skipping anything. Regardless of the type of node, just loot everything, because you want to get that Nurncrux. And also, if you're starting out as a new player, it doesn't matter what area you're in, loot everything, especially alchemy mats. Alchemy and enchanting can go at any level. So you might get a super rare CUDA from Alchemy even though you're level 5 in a level 5 zone. Same with Alchemy. Lady Smock, you can get that at any level. So those Alchemy and Channing mats are the very, very most important, especially for lower levels. If you're looking to make gold um, somewhat fast, try farming. Next up we have PvP. Yes, I make a lot of money doing PvP. There's some specific items in here that are very, very valuable to the market, specifically Cyrodiil's Light. Most casters right now wear two bands of this, and you can see the shopkeeper price goes for 50000 Shopkeeper is an add-on that you can download on the PC version that tells you like your, your transactions and what items are going for. So for instance, to prove to you I make a lot of money doing this, if you look at the money I've sold, made recently, I got these Shadow Walker pendants and these Hawkeye arm crops and the Shadow Walker thing. I spent about 200,000 alliance points, which is probably roughly a good couple days of work if you play a lot. And I made, what, over 150,000 gold. So you got to know what you're want, you want to buy. You can buy individual pieces for 250 or you can gamble away your money. So as you see here, you can buy 248 and you probably get 50k. There's also some bags that you can get from the other vendors. You got Magnus. So right now they're selling VR14 bags. So people are trying to upgrade all of their gear. And I highly recommend buying these accessory ones, Unfathomable Accessories. That gives you a chance to get some rare rings and pendants, like the Shadow Walkers that go for anywhere from 50 to 70k, depending on what trait you get. The next pro most profitable thing to use here is going to the Leather Worker and also buying the bags there. Once again, you got two choices here on gear, small and large pieces. So I do usually a combination of buying half of my AP with small and then half of my AP with large. Make sure you get the VR14 version. Now, if you solely PvP, you can make all of your money back using your AP to get this sort of stuff. You open the bags at random, and they have a chance of getting you those pieces of gear. Now, you might want to save them for yourself, but also, if you want to make a lot of money, think about doing PvP. It's a great source of income. For number three, I highly recommend doing crafting roots. Two particular kinds are really advantageous. Once again, enchanting and alchemy. Reason being, no matter what level you are, you can get the high-end mats regardless of your level. So if you're new to crafting roots, you basically have to get certified in a certain kind, and then you come to these little tables here and get the, the items that you need. 
you go into your crafting supplies, I already have one for alchemy, but if you don't, it tells you exactly what you need to get. So I try to farm these mats when I'm going out doing my farming runs, and then stock up in the bank. So that way, each character that I have can do these crafting rates. Remember, these are counted as dailies, and each character can do them. Especially the more endgame characters you have, the easier this becomes. For instance, one crafting writ turn in is 600 gold. Not to mention I get this alchemy vessel that gives me a chance to roll and maybe get this, a survey. So a survey, for instance, will give you high yield. Let's go check it out and see what these look like. All right, so one of our surveys give, rewarded us with all sorts of these flowers. Now, some of these flowers go for 220 gold a pop. Columbine, lady smock, corn flower, um, these are really valuable. Dragonthorn, not so much, but the other ones like columbine, right there, a lush columbine gave, might give you two to three. That's a couple thousand gold in potions right there if you're trying to sell them. Now, plus the 600 turnin, you can do a couple of these a day on each character. You can easily make 20,000 gold or more within an hour of doing this, making it one of my favorite choices for making gold in Elder Scrolls Online. Number two position, we have crafting. Yes, good old crafting. What do I mean by making money in crafting? You have to know a couple different things. First off, you need to research the traits. Whether you're starting out or new to the game, AI Research Grid allows you to kind of detect, detect which character has which traits unlocked. For me personally, I highly recommend having a couple different characters do crafting just because of the, st the skill points it takes. And so you're going to want to get all the motives that you can. Like you see down here, I don't have Imperial. Get all the Dwemer and get all the traits that you can. What you want to do is spread out your trait learning here. So get one, 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 then go to two, two, two. Don't just load up on the axe because it takes longer each trait. I have a friend that has a great post on this. Caps Game Mods, which I'm going to link in the YouTube. Really awesome post on how to do this. Also, make sure you refine your um, refine any material that you get from farming. You can also post in uh, chat that you're crafting different things. You can resell excess ingots. And then you can decon highly valuable materials such as purple quality, even gold quality if you're not using them, and sell those. Make sure to keep your research flowing at all times and get the traits that you don't need to know. And then make some for your friends. Get the word out that you're the go-to crafter. The rarer the things you can make, the more money you're going to make doing crafting. And always know the market. If people are in need of infused and precise or maybe impenetrable for their armor, try to sell those and hawk those wares because a lot of people don't have these hard-to-find traits. Knowing the market and knowing what people want is going to make or break you as a crafter. Number one way I've found to make money in Elder Scrolls Online is through guild traders. Getting in some merchant circles that are really, really advantageous because there is no global auction house. You can only get it through traders. Some of the best ones in the game are in Ralka, Elder Scroll Exchange, Merchant Circle. These are two guilds I belong to that are awesome for trading. Make sure you keep on your sales and make sure they're full. 25 listings isn't good. You can almost sell anything, whether it's potions, just a random drop, even catapults from PvP, anything people will buy. So having 30 listings in all of your guilds at once is most important. Also think about joining PvP guilds like Alacrity because they have unique e PvP gear and situations where they might take a highly populated keep in PvP and everyone gets to check their wares there. So knowing the market is also the most important thing as well. Like for instance, martial knowledge right now is the, one of the most sought after pieces of gear in the game, especially for spellcasters. So let me show you. Right now, four piece martial knowledge is kind of the new meta of what to wear, but you can only get the VR 14 by roaming Cyrodiil doing dolmens. Not a whole lot of people know that. So if you find one of these, that's 50,000 gold, you can resell it. Knowing the market, 
getting belonging to a really high-end guild trader is the best way to make gold in Elder Scrolls Online. Well, Nuggets, what are you going to do with all that gold once you get it? Luckily, there's a lot of gold sink in Elder Scrolls Online. Most of my money goes to upgrading gear, potions, testing out new builds so I respec all the time, redo my attribute points, and now I have a 3,000 gold dump into champion points. That's where all my gold goes. Now, for you that don't have to respec a lot, think about upgrading your bank space. You can go to max 240, and I'm at 210. That's account-wide, so it's really going to be important the more characters you have and the more craft you get. As you can see how much crafting mats and different things I have in here, there's just so much to hold on to, as you can loot almost everything in the game. That's one of the cool parts about Elder Scrolls Online, stealing, looting everything from the game. Let me know what you guys do to make money. I'm really curious on what you guys think is the best way to make money, because I know you're going to leave a lot of comments, and I can't wait to see them and view them. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know you've been asking a lot of how do I make money in gold and game, and this is how I do it. Stay tuned for more videos, and feel free to subscribe if you haven't. Also, check me out on Twitch during the weekdays, 11 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time, Twitch TV, LTS Gaming. Thank you.